I don't even have the conscientiousness to sit down and do self-authoring. I bought it over a year ago and haven't opened it. What the hell is wrong with me? Well, lots of things probably because there's lots of things wrong with everybody. But let's let's not go right for the jugular, you know. Let's assume let's assume that the problem is relatively simple before we assume that your character is beyond salvage, which is also something I would recommend if you're arguing with your wife or your husband or your partner, you know. Assume that their character can be salvaged. It's a good way to start the argument. So I would say, why don't you have a smaller goal? You know, so if you notice that you're not doing something, I'm not doing the self-authoring program. Well, maybe it's daunting to you, you know, or, or maybe you're not very disciplined or, or maybe both or maybe six other things. Who knows, right? Maybe you're angry that you spent money on it. Um, it's... It, it could be any number of reasons. Maybe you don't want a better life. Maybe there are things in your past you don't want to look into. Maybe you're afraid of your personality. Maybe you're terrified of the future and you don't want to think about it. God, any of those things could be true. But what you want to do is first notice that you're not doing it. It's like, oh, I'm not doing this. Well, I must be going about it wrong. Well, it's sort of the definition of wrong, right? If you're trying to do something and you're not doing it, then you're doing it wrong. That's for sure by your own definition. So let's say, well... If you're trying to do something difficult and you're not doing it, well, you could beat yourself with a stick until you do it, or you could hire someone else to do it, you know, metaphorically speaking, or even maybe really if you want to do it. Um, but the best, but barring that, the next best thing is to aim at something lower. Obviously, you're too useless to do the self-authoring program. Okay. Um, ask yourself, sit on the edge of your bed and say, okay, I, I think I'd like to try this self-authoring program. Is there some step I could take towards that that I would do? I would say, well, maybe you could think, well, what do I have to do to do it? Well, I have to find my username and password. Then I have to open the web. No, I've turned on my computer. I have to look in my email. I have to find my username and password. I have to find the site. I have to open the site. Then I have to enter the username and password in. And then I have to start reading it. Okay, so then you think, you got to walk through it like it's a simulation. Which of those things are you unwilling to do? You can ask yourself, am I willing to go turn my computer on? Yes. Am I willing to open my email? Yes. Am I willing to search through my email for the username and password? Well, I'm a bit worried about that because I bought it a year ago. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to find the username and password. Okay. Do you think you can handle that potential disappointment and frustration? Yes. I could do that for 10 minutes. Okay, you could always buy it again if you lost it, right? If you really want to do it, it's not that big a deal. Okay, so it looks like I'll turn on the computer. I'll sit down, I'll turn on the computer, open my email. I'll look for the username and password and I'll buy it if I can't find it. That's a possibility. Will you actually do those things? Like, would you do them right now? Yeah, I think I'd do that. Would you also put the username and password into the program itself? Well... Then you feel a little resistance. You think, well, maybe maybe I do that. Maybe I wouldn't. Okay. Would you put the username and password into the program and start reading? It's like, nope, that's too much. It's like, okay. Then you might think, well, if I wasn't such a useless son of a bitch, I'd just sit down and do the whole thing. It's like, yeah, maybe. But you are exactly that useless kind of son of a bitch. And so you can ask yourself politely what you're willing to do. You might find that you're willing to open the damn program and put the username and password in and like look at the first sentence. And that's a big accomplishment. It's like you could take yourself out for dinner to dinner for managing that. And I'm not being cynical. It's like way to be. You opened it. That means you have to get over your anticipatory anxiety. Like That's a big deal. Maybe that's enough for the day. If you find that you're not doing something that you know you should be doing, ask yourself. Like seriously, like you would ask someone else, like you'd ask someone you care about, like you'd ask someone you'd listen to what it is that you're willing to do. You won't clean up your room. Okay. Will you clean up your closet? No. Will you will you look in your closet and like think about some things that you might clean up if you did it the next day? It's like, yes. Well, there you go. Successful negotiation. You know, you gotta you're not your own slave and you're not your own tyrant. You have to deal with yourself. You have to negotiate with yourself just like you'd negotiate with another person. So that means you've got to take your stubborn idiocy the way you find it. You've got to accept it. And then you have to ask yourself, like you'd ask a really bratty nine-year-old kid, what you might be willing to do to put another foot forward. And then you have to do it.
small as it is, in humility, because you're so damn useless, that was the best you could manage. It's like, well, it's better than nothing. So it's good enough. And if you do that every day, if you try that every day or every second day or once a week for that matter, you know, if you allow yourself to genuinely step forward on a reasonably regular basis, you'll actually move forward. You know, even that will do the trick because the benefits will start to compound. So if you're not hitting what you're aiming at, aim lower, move closer to the target until you can hit it, until you can hit it with a little bit of effort. And accept that as your starting point. At least that's good. You found your starting point. Hooray. Hooray. You're on the path. Good for you. You know, it really, I'm serious about that.